gonna go do some thrifting today out on Melrose Ave and I'm super excited to like go do that and, and I'm just like waiting for my Uber right now and like this spot is so weird. I feel so vulnerable. Like where am I? <laughs> it's so hot out today. Yeah, I'm like standing in the shade to avoid the sun because I'm, you know, gotta protect the skin. This feels like a cheap almond dress. Ugh, so crossroads didn't really work out, which is totally fine. But now I'm gonna look for like a cute outdoor cafe to like live my full LA fantasy, you know. I still have a couple more I really wanna stop by, but everything's so far from apart from each other here. Um, but there's so many cute stores that I'm getting sidetracked or whatever. I don't really know what's in this juice, but I know it's healthy and definitely healthier than the things that I usually consume. Mmm, health. So many. Oh my god. It's gonna, I'm gonna be here for hours. I don't know what it is sometimes, but like thrifting and being in these spaces make me really anxious and then it just like really makes you want to go to the bathroom, which I kind of need to do right now. I love this, it's so cute. I would definitely take out the shoulder. So I ended up only trying on a couple of things, even though there are so many amazing pieces in there. I'm super, super selective when it comes to thrifting. Honestly, so ready to like have a drink now and because I've been shopping is so stressful, right? And yeah, so I'm gonna go meet up with Ben and we're gonna go to Pine and Crane to get some lunch and hopefully some afternoon cocktails. about to head out for today. Ben, Reese, and Patrick went out to the desert for a little palm springs, <laughs> for a little palm, <laughs> for a little palm springs weekend getaway. And I decided to stay back. There are some friends and some family that I really wanted to see. Now I'm gonna head to the broad, the, the, the broad today not the broad just to check out some art and maybe go down to patrick suggested hughes or something i can't remember but i wrote it down hopefully it's close enough and google could find it for me now just putting on some sunblock because the sun here is so strong and so intense the food here is so amazing and I've just been eating so much since I've been here and I'm just like, oh, I almost feel like a little blob just because I've been like consuming so much. That's what you gotta do when you're on vacation, right? The Broads line was way too long and I just like would rather not spend my time waiting. So I'm gonna go head to Hauser and Worth and go check them out and maybe get a cocktail while I'm there too. I mean, it's a cool building, but 
whatever. I'm just kind of over it. So I'm gonna go bike. Heat. LA has like these amazing like bikes and scooters that you can like rent through Uber. It's not as scary as like riding in like New York. People are a lot more chill here and not aggressive at all. So that's kind of a lot less pressure and lot, a lot less scary. And it's really convenient and it's so much fun. I will see y'all at House of Worth. Also look at this cool building behind. I think it looks like it's like by Frank Gehry or something. The LA sun is so beautiful. One of these. This one. Or this one. I don't know. I could not sleep last night because I was so scared. If there's one thing you may not know about me is that I'm like terrified of the dark. You know, being a city gal, I'm just so used to noise and like lights and like honestly, I know for most people that may be like super uncomfortable and like annoying, but for me, it is like, it was like listening to a lullaby. I honestly, it is so comforting for me to hear like cars, and to have like lights flashing, I don't know. For me, it's just like a sign of like humanity is still alive and that like ghost babies haven't like consumed them yet. I mean, it's so peaceful out here, out in LA, but at nighttime it is like a little too quiet for me and I'm like, oh my God, what is out there? But now I'm gonna go meet my friend for some lunch. I'm trying to find her apartment. But... <laughs> Hot springs? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Are we recording me doing this? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have a little cameo. Oh my god. You're gonna go with sesame sauce? You guys enjoy? Oh, uh, we didn't get that. We didn't get the string beans so. though. I knew it. <laughs> Are you sure? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> you guys enjoy. Thank you. You're gonna go be eating this? It's disgusting. <laughs> I'm just trying to get all the food. Content. Oh god, I, I like mixed it all up. I should have left it. Oh, you want me to do it? <laughs> no. This is cute. To be honest, oh my god, there's a spider. <gasps> oh my god, wait, it's that. Oh, hell no. Uh-uh, honey. 
Okay, so um, hopefully that spider is not in the car because that looks like a deathly spider. Um, so I just had in and out as y'all just saw. I'm gonna be real, that in and out burger is so overrated. It honestly tasted like nothing. All I could taste was like tomato and lettuce. Well, I got the animal style, which is apparently like the really like amazing banging like must have. Like this is the way you have to eat in and out. And all I have to say is V disappointing. The burger basically tastes like nothing. TBH Shake Shack is so much better. I would have Shake Shack over in and out any day honestly i would even have mcdonald's over in and out like in and out is so overrated and so overhyped y'all are crazy but the french fries honestly tasted like cardboard it was just like a cardboard stick so i know i ate all of that burger but you know i grew up being taught not to waste any food so even though i wasn't the biggest fan of it i was not gonna put it to waste even with those cardboard fries i mean i'm just glad i got to try it it had been about over like 12 years since i've had it uh, okay anyways back to driving home uh wish me luck <laughs> Today's our last night here in LA and to be honest, the feelings are somewhat bittersweet. LA has just been so lovely and the weather here is so beautiful and um, the sun is so beautiful. I love how long the sunsets last here and people here are so nice. Like I can't even deal. Like there were moments where I was just like having some ice cream and like this kind person across the table from me would just like start talking to me and I was like at a bar this at bar the other day like the same day and like these other people just started talking to me and it was just like so nice and refreshing to be around like nice welcoming people and without like the second question being like what do you do you know and I'm just like so thankful for like these and Patrick for like being such amazing posts and like you know sharing suggestions and hanging out with us and spending time with us and like welcoming welcoming us into their home they're both such like amazing and beautiful people honestly truly and like have such genuine hearts um, and i really appreciate them yeah la has been amazing and i can't wait to come back I'm about to like put on a face mask um in a bitch just to like kind of prep my skin for the flight. This face mask is terrible. Not the best face cut. So this one is supposed to nourish, shine, and tone up. Apparently. Right. 